because I want to make a, a clear understanding of, of the system and then uh, level six and then how how this whole the whole MK Ultra process is 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 part of the satanic system protection. Okay, because like like I said, the world's an illusion and, and none of this is a is how it looks is how it seems. It's time for you to learn that we are not real. Booga, booga, booga. The world is a fucking illusion, bro. Our lives are being manipulated for the entertainment of monsters. Twisted, tasteless, juvenile monsters. Puppet masters in another dimension. So you'll see that on level six is Gamma. And it says, another form of system protection is through deception, okay? System protection is through deception programming which elicits misinformation and misdirection. This level is intertwined with demonology and tends to regenerate at a later time is inappropriately deactivated. Alright, system protection, okay? The Matrix is a system, Neo. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters. The very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? Now, all of this is is a uh, is a uh, trauma base, and it's a satanic system because it, it made by the the serpent bloodline. All right, and this is how they feed off of us. This is how they keep us in trap. Is through trauma, is a uh, sex and a uh, uh, fear. Okay, that the, the, this is uh, this is all part of it. And and the reason why why we're chosen for these levels, like I said, is because we're we're basically the benevolent ones trying to trying to, to wake you guys. All right, got God's image. Okay, this is. This is uh this is blood wars. There is God's people and there's the devil's people, the serpent, the dragon, and and which is which is all part of the matrix. The serpents is the reptilians bloodline. You know the the Enki, the uh, the genetically mixed hybrids and all that. That's all part of that bloodline, okay? And all of this is feeding them, which is why it's all trauma based, and it's why if you take a if if you notice why everything uh. Everything is violence. Every movie, it's not cool unless it's violent. And uh, everything is uh, is sex. Okay, sex with the hybrid that are everywhere is is death to humans. Okay, it corrupts it corrupts your DNA. All right, and and when when you are soul scalped, which I explained in my video, the host, it, you you're still you. Okay, but but your your conscience is dead. All right, you you have been soul scalped. And sex with them, it, sex period, it puts you in a puts you in an ignorant trance, all right? You're very ignorant of everything, what truth is and everything. You just go with what you're seeing. And, and like in the movie The Matrix, I'm, I'm about to play it right now. Are you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was. Look again. It explains it spot on, okay? As soon as we're born, we're born into, they're, they're bondage, they're tortured. As soon as we're born, what are we taught? We're taught that this is real, and nothing else is real. Tumbling down the rabbit hole? Hmm? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Everything that they present us is, is all... It's uh, all of us are MK Ultra, every single one of us, but, but not to this degree, okay? The only ones that get chosen for this degree... For these seven levels are the leaders, okay? Are the are are the ones that are, are chosen with the message to, to to help free the people, okay? Uh, now seven is is after you pass level six, okay? You lifted that. Seven is this is this is this form of programming is yet un, un, undocumented for public consumption. It is my belief that HARP is a tool for mass mid control to be implemented at the first sign of unrest or revolution, okay? Do you get that? Look, it is my belief that HARP is a tool for mass mid control, mass mid control to be implemented at the first sign of unrest or revolution. Remember, the ones that are keeping our, our frequency low and, and keeping us from where we really are, activating what we are, are, are them, the serpents, the government. The, those are the ones keeping us from what we really are, okay? And and what it says by uh, 
is a mass mid control to be implemented at the first sign of unrest or revolution, meaning that they'll they'll drop that frequency at the first sign of unrest or revolution, okay? And when we go against them, when we stand up and we get them out the office and, and we open up our eyes to, to what they're, how much they're enslaving us. They're enslaving us on every level. And the main level is, is they're feeding off us and they're keeping us from what we are. We're but we are divine. We are the gods trapped in cocoons. We, we're trapped in this. We're trapped in this world. We're basically trapped in our minds. Okay, this is all. This is all like a like a projection for our minds. We, we, we none of this is us. None of it. We we are much more. We be, we like uh, what's her name said. We could basically manifest universes with our mind. Right now, this this is what this is how the parasites feed off feed, are feeding off of us. All of, this is why everything is trauma based, violence. Before us, everyone knew the awful truth. Oh, how they screamed. It was a living nightmare. So we, the non-perishables, created a story. The story of the great beyond. A place where the gods care for you. And all your wildest and wettest dreams would come true. They would go out those doors happy, instead of shitting themselves. Mm. What? What? In time, everyone accepted this false truth. But over the years... Things started to get a little fucky. The aisles started changing my verses to support their own views. Fucking with Twink's tight-ass lyrics, remixing my shit without my permission. Anyway, at least it's still distracting them from the truth. That they get brutally devoured. Before time began, there was the cube. We know not where it comes from, only that it holds the power to create worlds and fill them with life. That is how our race was born. For a time we lived in harmony, but like all great power, some wanted it for good, others for evil. And so began the war. Oh. And here you have it in Christianity, the six-pointed star, an old ex-pope. And there it is, between the pillars, in the Mother Lodge of Freemasonry in Great Queen Street in London. It's all Saturn. They're all pissing in the same pot. Now, another ancient symbol of Saturn is the black cube, which you see all over the place. And this is interesting. We're going to get in now into how um, this matrix actually works. This is a permanent hexagon storm in the North Pole of Saturn. It's two Earths uh, wide, and it's uh, going all the time, and it rotates exactly in sync with Saturn's radio emissions. And in geometry, the hexagon is also the six-pointed star, and is also the cube. They are different expressions of the same energetic state. And so when you look at this, this is just a crop circle, but that's uh, um, coincidental. You look at that crop circle and it's a hexagon, a flat hexagon. Look at it again, but see it three-dimensionally, even though it's exactly the same picture, and it becomes a cube. They are different expressions of the same energetic state. So a hexagon is also a cube, is also a six-pointed star in, in geometry. And therefore, this cube, the Kaaba at Mecca, is a symbol of Saturn, and that's what they're worshipping, though they don't realize it, though the inner circle will. The black cube that Jewish people put on their third eye as part of their ritual is Saturn. And when they worship at uh, Mecca, they even make them sit in concentric bloody circles. So within this ancient serpent religion, the pharaohs await the coming of their god and creator, the Musa, or Messiah, as they force their serpent religion upon humanity through torture, by force, and by the violent priests of Amun. And it's not, and every movie, and you notice how every superhero movie is, is um, um, they're not human. 
all of them are are superhuman, and that's part of part of what they're bringing in. That that's part of prepping us, and we're so we're so traumatized into that, we're so controlled into that that we think it's cool. We're like, oh man, that's cool. Yeah, it's very cool because that's all we've seen since the comic books, and we're all small, but. You have to realize what what that what that is gonna do for for them to be real. I mean, to actually come, they are gonna come in form. They're already here, but it's gonna result in the extinction of us, of what we really are, the humans. Okay, we're we're, we're this is this is not good. This is hell. All this is hell from what we really are. We are gods, all right? We're like we're we're God's people. We're we're uh, we're we're. Like like he said, we're, this is the Garden of Eden. This is the war for the Garden of Eden. This, all of this is a is a fight. Uh, if you if you're familiar with the work of Santo Benacci, where he talks about the three trusts that the the Vatican created, where they they not only own the earth, but they own us and they own our souls. That, that's a real problem for me. And it should be for everybody because it's nothing more than a government. Okay. Do you get that? Look, it is my belief that HARP is a tool for mass mid control, mass mid control to be implemented at the first sign of unrest or revolution. Remember, the ones that are keeping our, our frequency low and, and keeping us from where we really are, activating what we really, really are, are, are them, the serpents, the government, the 